quadrilaterals and its types. So in our class, we studied about uh, family of uh, quadrilaterals. So you know that in the family of uh, quadrilaterals, we have a kite, which is a special type of quadrilateral in which two consecutive sides, they are equal. And uh, you can see that here we have four sides in which two pairs, we see two pairs of consecutive sides equal. And uh, here in the kite, we also observe that uh, not even a single pair of uh, opposite sides is parallel to each other. Now, the second family member is this trapezoid. And in trapezoid, one pair of uh, opposite sides is parallel to each other. The third family member is the parallelogram. And here in parallelogram, both pairs of opposite sides are parallel to each other. And interestingly, you will see in parallelogram family, we have uh, three more special coordinates angle and square. So today we are going to explore properties of special quadrilateral called parallelogram. So let us uh, go to GeoGebra. So here I hope you can see the screen. So let us first try to make a parallelogram. So I've taken a segment tool and uh, drawn AB. This is one side of the parallelogram. And we know that in a parallelogram, both pairs of opposite sides are parallel to each other. So using the parallel line tool, I will be making another parallel line, right? Which is parallel to AB. After that, using this segment tool, we are going to join AC. So you can see that here we have two sides of the parallelogram now, AB and AC. And on the left side, you will be noticing that this is algebra window where the dimensions of these sides are appearing. So AB is denoted by this F. So this is 4.46 centimeters and AC is denoted by this value H that is 2.91 centimeters. Okay, let us see how we get the fourth vertex of the parallelogram. For that, we will be using the parallel line tool again and we will try to make a parallel line to AC which passes through the point B, right? Now we will get the fourth vertex. This is the point of intersection. So we will use the intersect tool and place it here so that we get the point. So D is the point of intersection, right? So now we have to make the parallelogram. So we don't want to see these lines. So just you need to go to that line, right click and click on the show object. It will go off and then go to the second line, right click and then click on uh, show object, the second line will go off. And then using the segment tool, we can complete the parallelogram, right? See how easy it is to make this parallelogram. Now here in the GeoGebra, we have a move option, move tool. It's a dynamic software. So you can see that there are the blue points, A, B, and C. These are the dynamic points. And the point black, this deep point is static point. So you can move and change the dimensions of the parallelogram by moving any of the point, either A or B, or you can move the point C. And you will see that every time you are getting a parallelogram. Interesting. OK, let me now fix up one parallelogram. And we will be now exploring the properties. So the first thing is both pairs of opposite uh, sides are parallel to each other. Let us observe the dimension of the lengths. So here you can see that AB is the first side. And it has dimension F. F you can calculate and see. Okay, F is here. 
it is 10.3 centimeters let us see what is this cd cd is represented by k here it is k it is also 10.3 centimeters so we observe that ab is equal to cd that is opposite side of the parallelogram they are equal let us see the second pair ac ac is h h is 4.86 centimeter and bd what is the length of bd bd is represented by j yes it is also 4.86 centimeters okay so if you use this move tool you can every time see that both pairs of opposite sides are equal you just check the values of the variables here f k j and h so you will see that f is equal to k and h is equal to j that means ab is equal to cd and ac is equal to bd so opposite sides of the parallelogram they are equal now let us explore the angles so for this first we need to mark the angles so here i have taken the angle tool and you know how to use the angle tool so you need to move on in the clockwise direction from one vertex say for example i have to get the measurement of angle a so i will start from vertex b click on b then a and then c you will get the measurement of angle a okay now you tell me if we have to get the measurement of angle c what should i do yes you are right i will start from a click on a then c and then d but before that make sure you have selected the angle tool this is the angle tool right okay now i have to do measurement of angle d so this is c d a we have to go in the clockwise direction now i have to get measurement of angle b so click on d b and then a right let us now do the exploration so observe carefully the measurement of angles do you see a relationship do you observe anything just observe them observe the measurement yes uh, angle a is 58.28 degrees and opposite angle d is also 58.28 degrees yes the observation is very simple that opposite angles of a parallelogram they are equal you see angle b and angle d are also equal 121.72 degrees this geogebra applet is uh, application is very very useful you can see that angles you are getting in decimals also in normal classrooms we never do this we never even draw so but uh, here you see you are getting the correct measurement so let me use the move tool and you have to keep your eye on observing the opposite angles okay just observe and write at least three observations yes every time i am changing the size so you can see i am changing the size of this parallelogram and we see that opposite angles are equal interesting yes you see opposite angles are equal okay now let us do the next exploration about the diagonals so for that first we need to draw the diagonal so i am making the diagonal ad and then bc okay now you see that the diagonal ac has the length uh, let me see what is this variable it is l and diagonal ad has length m so what is l l is 15.48 cm and m is 7.99 cm so it is pretty clear that diagonals are not equal in a parallelogram what about uh, whether they bisect each other for that we need to first get the point of intersection so let us uh, mark the point of intersection of the diagonals here so this point is e so we need to now check whether ae is equal to ed and ce is equal to eb for that we will be using the segment tool so i am taking the segment tool and we will draw 
the segment from A to E. From A to E, the length is 7.74 centimeter. Okay, let us see what happens from E to D. E to D, it is, okay, it is also 7.74. So that means AE is equal to ED. Okay, let us see what is the relation between CE and EB. So CE is 4 centimeters and EB is also 4 centimeters. So interesting. So we have got that diagonals of the parallelogram. They bisect each other. Okay, now we are doing the last exploration. Whether they bisect each other at 90 degrees or not. So for that, we should have the measurement of angle CED. So let us check the angle tool. And now you tell me how, how should I get this angle? Yes, we will be starting from D. Click on D, then E, and then C. We have to move in the clockwise direction. So here you see that uh, the measurement of this angle is more than 90 degrees. Okay, so obviously it is not a right angle. So what are the basic properties of a parallelogram? Can you tell me? Yes, number one, we started with the basic definition that uh, both pairs of opposite sides are parallel to each other. So we have verified that both pairs of opposite uh, sides are equal to each other. Opposite angles are equal to each other. Diagonals, they are not equal. Diagonals, they bisect each other and they do not bisect each other at 90 degrees right so now this is general thing about the parallelogram okay so dear students now we will be doing the next step let us see what happens if this parallelogram is a rhombus or if this parallelogram is a square or if this parallelogram is a rectangle then what will happen what will be the change in the properties, right? For that, we would be now placing this uh, axis and the grid at the back, okay? So that we can uh, get the special quadrilaterals. So if I need to, say, for example, study about the uh, this uh, square, so I can use... Uh, the, I can take help of the coordinates. You have studied the rectangular coordinate system. So I can get a square here by counting the number of squares. Okay. So let us see what happens. I'm trying to make a square. You will see that in every case, it is a parallelogram. Okay. But here, we need to get a yes, we need to make a square. See how we can do this. You need to move the coordinates suitably and then you can see how we are going to get a square. Yes, 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 I have got it. So you can see that in a square, each angle is 90 degree. It's a parallelogram in which each angle is 90 degrees and all sides are equal, right? So you can verify them. Now you just observe the diagonal. I'm interested in knowing the properties of diagonals. What do you observe here? Yes, diagonals, they bisect each other. Obviously, it's a parallelogram, so that property will hold true in the square also. But interestingly, you notice here that this diagonal BC and AD, they are equal also. And... They are perpendicular to each other also. So in a square, in case of uh, diagonals, diagonals, they follow the property of a parallelogram. 
But other than that, if you notice, this is a special parallelogram in which diagonals are equal and diagonals, they bisect each other at right angles, right? So this is how we have got the square. Now, if I move this point A, say, for example, I'm moving this A point to this place to get a rectangle. Now, see, this is a rectangle now. It is not a square now. So what do you notice? There is a difference between a rectangle and a square. In the rectangle, diagonals, they bisect each other at right angles. But notice here, this angle, angle CED, this is 96.73 degrees. So that means diagonals, they bisect each other, no problem. But they do not bisect each other at right angles. But in this rectangle, the diagonals are equal. So remember, in a parallelogram, it is not necessary that diagonals are equal. But if a parallelogram is a rectangle or if it is a square, the diagonals will be equal, right? And in the square, diagonals will be equal. They will bisect each other and they will bisect each other at right angles. But in a rectangle, if you notice, the diagonals, they will bisect each other, but they will not bisect each other at right angles. Now, what you have to do is you have to get a rhombus and study the properties of rhombus by moving the points. And you just need to write in the comment, like, what do you notice specifically about properties of the diagonal in case of the rhombus? Right. I hope it is clear to all of you. So in mathematics, visualization uh, pays a, plays a great role. And we see that in different types of uh, quadrilaterals, we have observed their properties. Now you see that if you specifically see, we have explored a parallelogram, a rectangle. Then uh, I have given you task for rhombus. And we have explored square. So this is, these are some special quadrilaterals having some certain specific properties. So I hope uh, this uh, lesson will help you in uh, acquiring some knowledge set about uh, special quadrilaterals. And then in the next session, we would be doing uh, questions based on properties of these special quadrilaterals. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Take care.